Hi, my name is Adi Melenciano, and I've always considered myself an artist, uh, a visual artist specifically, but an artist that also has a great appreciation for technology. Uh, growing up, not really knowing how to program in code, but more so um, using softwares like iMovie or GarageBand, composing my own songs in elementary school, um, whatever I could get my hands on. And that all changed when I got to NYU, um, and I'm currently a second year studying interactive telecommunications. Um, and so there I've really been able to discover this entire world that I always had in my head, but not really been able to be in that type of space where they merge or where we merge art and technology together to create anything um, imaginable. And so there, after being there, I was able to wear a lot more hats um, from engineering to designing to creative technology, um, artist and also educator. And so in my first class, Intro to Computational Media, I finally learned how to do interactive visuals. And so see, these are some of sound interactive mostly and um, visuals that, I've, that I explored with and then quickly used in VJing. My boyfriend and I are a DJ duo in Brooklyn and so there um, I used the, v the visuals to VJ our parties. Also using P5 more so, more than processing to create an, a screen-based interactive um, MIDI controller. So as you press the illustrated keyboard or synthesizer, um, it creates different sounds. I also used processing for this um, for, for a class called Nothing, Creating Illusions, and where I explored systematic, systematic and institutionalized racism in, a, in the form of a turntable. Uh, so you don't see the turntable there, but I created graphics and where I uh, controlled colors so that when you look through different um, glasses, you would see different visuals pop up over the, on the visual. And as you use the turntable, which is, which is a, um, a, I forgot what the word is, kind of like a comparison of how people generally, uh, or how culture, or how culture is generally appropriated, black culture more specifically, and extracted from its actual meaning um, and the pain that was used to create whatever it is that's being um, appropriated. And so I created a turntable that lured people into using it, and as they turned the uh, vinyl on the turntable, you would have an audiovisual mixtape that would change, and you would hear different uh, quotes or see different videos that related to racism. At the Maker Fair, I presented um, half of my experimental photo factory series, and so this was built in processing with the interface designed in Photoshop, and where people would be able to take photos of themselves um, in a photo booth form, and as you press the different filters, it would just uh, overlay different filters that I created. And so in creating all of this technology and then going home and being around my friends um, and seeing how they enjoyed what I was creating but didn't feel as capable as I did in doing it themselves, um, I really wanted to find ways to make them feel more welcomed in this kind of space and feel like they could do it too. And so this was a quote that I recently saw in the subway that aligned with pretty much what I'm trying to do now is, as you climb your ladder of success, bring others along with you. And so uh, I created a YouTube channel. As it's really important, or how I've grown up, I've seen it's really important to be able to see yourself in um, different areas that you may be interested in. And so in technology, it was never something that I actually saw myself in. Uh, and I wanted to give people that were younger um, and in my shoes, the ability to see themselves as well as my friends or even people that are older than me. Uh, and so this is a book that I'm currently reading, uh, Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paulo Freire. The oppressed must be their own example in the struggle for their redemption. So it, was, it further emphasized um, how important it was to me to sit in front of a screen and um, record my own videos. And so starting off with the most basic levels um, of creative technology. And so different videos I have show fabrication, coding, um, engineering, design, uh, performance, and other sorts of videos. Uh, and I know I'm out of time, but just to quickly read this quote, if students are not able to transform their lived experiences into knowledge and to use the already acquired knowledge as a process to unveil new knowledge, they will never be able to participate rigorously in a dialogue that, as a process of learning and knowing, which basically means that it's really important for, uh, especially for me, I, I'm a huge advocate of my own community, and it's really important for us to be able to have language and where we can discuss our experiences and to um, better change how we currently live. And so that's how I see technology as a, a new form of expression for us and a new way to um, convey our stories and better our circumstances. And so this 
is aligned with a recent project that I'm doing at NYU called Afrotectopia, and where it's a new media arts, culture, and technology festival where everyone can gather, but more specifically um, to think about the question of how can black people be further empowered by technology to better their circumstances. So, thank you. <laughs>